Hi Mustangs, Mr. Bellini here. I just want to take a few minutes just to talk about the um, global leadership program that we're going to be offering here at Monsignor Doyle next year. Uh, I just want to make you aware that, uh, you know, it's a cross-curricular approach uh, with a, a team, along with a team teaching approach with it. We have Mr. Kearns and Mr. Hallahan who have been working uh, very hard at developing this wonderful program. You're going to have lots of opportunities in this program that you wouldn't have in a regular classroom setting. Um, you're going to be you're going to be having opportunities to go to to visit post secondary uh, institutions, uh, meeting with professors, uh, possibly sitting in lectures, and, and kind of seeing what it's like to actually be a university student. Um, you're also going to have lots of guest speakers in your classroom uh, to kind of uh, bolster up some of the topics that you're going to be studying uh, in class. Um, and it's just a great opportunity if you're looking for a bit of a different program. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great opportunity to set you up depend on whatever you decide to do after, after high school, whether you're deciding to go to college or university. It's just a great program that's going to set you up well and it's going to give you a well-rounded education. So why don't you consider taking the Global Leadership Program? And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to either see myself, uh, Mr. Kearns, or Mr. Hallahan. Thanks and take care. What's your future? In 2019, at Monsignor Doyle, there was an idea. What if we could change the system? What if we could make education cross-curricular and real-world? What if we could accelerate education with innovative learning strategies? What if we could create learning that was highly engaging and interactive? And what if the future is what you make of it. Welcome to the Global Leadership Program. The Global Leadership Program is a four credit program taught over one semester. Courses are taught cross-curricular, integrated with innovative learning strategies. In Global Leadership, you will connect with real world experts, leaders, and programs on a global scale. Global Leadership comprises four grade 12 credits. Your society is changing faster than ever before. Challenge and change in society will teach you how to adapt to and analyze the society in which you live. In world issues, you will become aware of the challenges this planet presents and how you can tackle these issues together. In economics, you will understand how choices and resources drive our world. Economics will teach you to deeply understand the fundamental core of the human experience. Monsignor Doyle is proud to introduce IDC4UI, International Politics and Trade. 
This new course combines expectations from both political science and international business. It will let you see how politics and trade govern and create the leaders of our world. It's the perfect new course for a global reset. This program is for grade 11 and 12 students who are university bound. Global leadership is for students who are looking to get ahead in their education and want a deeper understanding of the world around them. Most of all, this program is for students who want school to be more fun, more exciting, and way more engaging. There are no prerequisites for this program once you have obtained all of your grade 10 credits. So for grade 11s, there are immense advantages to starting this program right away. Grade 11 students can get ahead before they enter their final year of high school. More grade 12 credits means more chances to raise your entry average for university. And even more importantly, Global Leadership will teach you the time management, communication, and cognitive skills you need to be successful in grade 12 and beyond. Another important consideration, you can take only three courses each semester in grade 12, which means you will have more time to study and balance your life in your final year of high school. Also, you can still take four other grade 11 courses plus up to two credits in summer school sessions. As this program is only offered every second year, this could be your only chance to take this amazing once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. The Global Leadership Program in Grade 11 is a fantastic fit for students looking to enter law, the social sciences, psychology, history, politics, business, teaching, English, the humanities, math, the arts, or other related subject areas after high school. The program is not as good a fit for students who must take two or more Grade 11 science courses in preparation for Grade 12 sciences. This is a program that I would recommend to all grade 11 and 12 students. Even if you're someone that's currently dead set on a pathway that's seemingly unrelated to these courses, I'd still recommend that you take it. For one, the topics that are covered are important in all areas of life and no matter what industry you choose to go into, it can be important to know the business and the other motivations behind what you're doing. Also, I can guarantee that you will be introduced to some new topics and ideas that may make you want to reconsider what you want to do with your future. Also, at the very least, you'll learn how to think better, which can be applicable no matter where you decide to go. Grade 12 students can also take this program. Remember, the more grade 12 credits you take, the more chances you have at improving your grade for university. This program will get you ready academically for university with direct skill development related to university, including working with academic journals, improving your presentation and debating skills, and learning to think critically and creatively on advanced topics. Finally, the Global Leadership Program works with local university professors throughout the semester, which means you have a chance to meet a professor you could have in first year university. The Global Leadership Program in Grade 12 is a fantastic fit for students looking to enter law, the social sciences, psychology, history, politics, business, teaching, English, the humanities, the arts, or other related subject areas after high school. This program is not as good a fit for students who must take three or more Grade 12 science and math courses in preparation for a STEM program at university. In a typical semester, each course you take is separate from other courses. This means that lessons might overlap with each other, and you might learn the same things over and over again in multiple courses. With Global Leadership, your learning connects all the courses together and connects them to your life.
In the traditional classroom, you will typically learn with a teacher providing lectures and readings from a textbook. Global leadership throws that model out the window. In global leadership, all of your course content will be connected to the real world. You'll meet real global experts in their fields and learn directly from them. You'll take the latest technology in education and connect it to your own ideas and thoughts. And you will take your class learning beyond the walls of the school and to new destinations. But more on that later. This, this program is amazing. And I think the real question is why shouldn't students take this class? At the end of the day, you learn, you learn so much about the world. Like I, after taking the course, I know so much more and know why things are the way they are. Let's compare the traditional classroom to the Global Leadership Program. In Global Leadership, there are no textbooks, and each student is given an in-class Chromebook to use for the semester. You won't need a thick binder to hold a million handouts in Global Leadership, and you won't have to stare at boring presentations either. All of Global Leadership is developed professionally, using fully interactive e-learning software to bring interactions, games, and multimedia into the classroom experience at all times. In Global Leadership, you will be obtaining four credits, but it will feel easier than taking four. And the course is designed so you have a maximum of one assignment per week, much less than in a typical four-course model. In most classrooms, the most exciting part of the course might be watching a video. But in Global Leadership, you will spend your days playing games, meeting and learning from global professionals in person, role-playing, taking parts in simulations of real-world scenarios, and discussing and debating issues, ideas, and real-world news. Global Leadership is an experience unlike any other course you will take in high school. The focus on games, role-play, and simulations definitely helped my learning and made my experience in Global Leadership even better. Being a very visual and hands-on learner, participating in games and simulations that allowed me to make connections between what we've learned in class and real-world issues definitely helped me better understand what I was learning. We never once picked up a textbook for the entire semester. I was able to truly learn new things, not just memorize them and forget them soon after. Go to the country that just selected a Prime Minister Gorman in 1985. Go. The best part of the Global Leadership Program for me was meeting the people that I met. Because of all the people, the activities that we did were so much better, and the activities really helped our friendships to be stronger too. And besides from the people, the best part of Global was the different simulations that we did. They made learning so much fun, and they helped us gain a further understanding on the topics that we covered, otherwise it would be a lot more confusing to understand.
Games, role play, and simulations are core aspects of how this program is taught. This is a really great way to learn, as you're able to pick up a real intuition for the content that's taught in class, rather than just reading words out of a textbook, as the simulations are meant to represent real-world situations where the content that we learn could be used. This is a really great way to help your learning stick. The simulations are also really fun, as you often dress up in business attire or wacky costumes to try and fit the roles, and it can get really competitive as well. The Global Leadership Program works with three universities to help create connection between students and their potential futures. We work with professors from the University of Waterloo, Wilfrid Laurier University, and starting next year, Western University. But more on that later. My name is John Malloy and I'm the practitioner in residence at Wilfrid Laurier University's Department of Political Science. I also teach at Martin Luther University College, which is affiliated with Laurier. This is a big year for you. Many of you are thinking ahead to university and wondering, what kind of skills do I need? Well, I've got to tell you the obvious ones, of course. You need to be able to read and write. And when I say that, I'm serious. You need to be able to write well. You need to be able to read effectively, to think critically, and to be able to pull apart the author's arguments. But beyond that, I would encourage you to develop a sense of intellectual curiosity. Don't be afraid to ask questions or challenge assumptions or wonder if something that is conventional thinking should in fact be conventional thinking. What? Hi, my name is Dr. Suzanne Kearns and I'm an associate professor at the University of Waterloo. It was my pleasure to support the Global Leadership Program at Monsignor Doyle last year and I wanted to just answer a few questions about why I think this is a really important program for high school students when they're entering university. I think what we're increasingly finding with young people entering university is that they know how to follow directions. So they're very smart young people. They've been taught uh, through a variety of their courses to follow instructions. But one of the increasing challenges we have is when the students are required to think critically and are given abstract information and it's their job to sort of put the pieces together and present their own ideas. Many of the students know how to answer uh, questions with what they perceive to be the correct answer, but they may not understand that not every situation uh, that's presented to them will have a clean, correct answer. Sometimes they need to weigh different variables and come up with a solution that may be gray rather than perfectly black or white. And I think that's what the Global Leadership Program really promotes in the young people who take that program, is that they need to learn how to think for themselves and how to verbally articulate their responses. Hi folks. My name is Patricia Goff, and I'm an Associate Professor of Political Science at Wilfrid Laurier University. I know that many of you are thinking about what you'll do after high school, and I'm sure that university is on the radar for a lot of you. University is one of the most exciting things you'll do, but also probably one of the more daunting, because it's different. And so I know that you want to be prepared so that you can succeed and have an awesome experience of growth and discovery. What's gonna be the big difference between high school and university? Well, at least on paper, you're gonna have what seems to be a ton of free time. You're also not necessarily gonna have that day-to-day -day homework that you're used to in high school. Of course, this is all very deceptive. You are gonna have a heck of a lot of work to do, but you're gonna to have to figure out how to generate it independently. You're gonna to have to think through, how can I stay on top of the course that I'm following or the courses I'm following, the readings and that sort of thing. And it is gonna require some independence and some self-discipline. Some of the biggest differences between university and high school is that in university, the professors won't hold the student's hand in the process of 
getting them to do their work, uh, following deadlines, or fully explaining every aspect of an assignment. We really do expect students to have the skill sets to analyze a problem that's given to them and to come up with a solution on their own. Uh, in addition, we do expect them to meet all the deadlines. So um, deadlines in university courses are not flexible. Um, they, they do matter and in general in university, any late assignment will have a 10% penalty right off the bat in the first 24 hours. So uh, in addition to all of the academic skills, we want to develop what we call the, you know, the soft skills or the interpersonal skills as well. A lot of things around decision making and time management communication and collaboration with your peers, um, as well as the initiative and the motivation to do your work, even when no one's looking over your shoulder and asking you to do so. And I think that this program also instills a lot of those really important work habits in young people. One way is that the classes that you take in university will probably be larger. That's certainly true in the first year. In some of your first year classes, you could be one of several hundred. That's different. And so you've got to think about how you're going to navigate that. How are you going to take notes? How are you going to make sure you're hearing what the prof is saying? Uh, do you need to sit by a friend to make sure that if you miss class, you can get notes from someone? Another thing that's different is the workload. I think a lot of people say it's heavier and it might be heavier, but I think it's also different. Uh, university profs will ask you to do readings before you come to class. You'll have to prep some things so that when you come to class, you'll be able to participate in a discussion or take part in some sort of activity. So that's a little bit different. And it's worth noting that in university, you spend a lot less time in class together with your classmates and your prof. So you're doing a lot more work for a particular class outside of class time and independently. So that's different too. That means you've got to have a different sort of discipline uh, different sort of time management skills. So that's a bit of an adjustment. So how does global leadership prepare you for university? In global leadership, we'll teach you the proper format for formal debating, including the communication skills needed to present and articulate your ideas. You'll develop an understanding of the pitfalls and fallacies that people latch onto when arguing and develop a strong understanding of the sociological theories behind effective message delivery. Learning how to access and understand academic journals is a key skill for many university programs. In Global Leadership, we will teach you how to research, interpret, and apply university-level academics to your high school writing with ease and confidence. Confidence that you will be ready for the next step. Do you struggle with studying and test taking? Global Leadership will help you improve. Develop study habits that will help you in university and life and watch your grades improve. Learn the skills you need to be better test takers at university. In Global Leadership, you will be working and collaborating with other like-minded academic focused students. When friends work together with the same goals, communities and friendships are born in Global Leadership, everyone is there to learn and grow together. Finally, in Global Leadership, you will have the opportunity to get answers from real university professors to help you prepare for your next step in life. Global Leadership will challenge you as a thinker. You will challenge ideas and assumptions, including your own. You'll meet people working in industries that you might want to enter and be able to ask them questions and even debate with them on major topics of interest. You'll apply the theories you learn in class to real life problems, including working with real life global experts who do the same thing on a global scale. In global leadership, you will truly develop the cognitive skills you need to succeed. So why do you have to think ahead? Well, obviously your lives are moving fast. It probably to you only seems like yesterday that you were starting high school, but the world is moving so incredibly fast. Uh, technology, even the fallout from COVID-19, it's creating new opportunities, career choices, even areas of study. You have to stay on top of it and you have to always be thinking ahead. So, so why is it so important for students to be forward thinking and preparing for their futures? I always, when I speak with young people at the university, 
one of the very first things I ask them is, what are their goals, what are their passions, and where do they want to see themselves in the future? I think sometimes in the sort of the day-to-day -day routine of coursework, we get focused on the deadlines today, and we don't always see the broader connections outside the walls of the school or beyond the next maybe six to 12 months in our future. But the reality is, I think one of the goals for young people in high school is to find their passion and to find their place in the world. Oh man, the field trips. <sighs> yeah, the field trips were awesome. We, we got to do so many cool things. Just the field trips were amazing. Two of the main highlights for me were firstly presenting at ICAO, a branch of the United Nations, and acting as the president in a simulation that we did with them. The two things that stood out to me the most as being the best parts of the Global Leadership Program in my year were definitely the trip my class took to Ottawa and Montreal in which my group had the opportunity to present a presentation on aviation sustainability to a group of world-renowned leaders at ICAO in Montreal, which is a branch of the United Nations. Even like the smaller trips we did, we, we went to University of Waterloo, went to Laurier, we got to sit into an economics lecture, first year economics lecture at Laurier. I had a field trip to Toronto, where we sat into the provincial parliament, watched Doug Ford speak um we also got to do a an escape room we did several of those which was very fun as well uh something that really stuck out to me too in our trips was that it was really cool how you could be listening to a professor or a leader in some industry or a politician and you could hear them say something and it'd click in your head you know hey we talked about that in class or i did a project on that last week that was just something that was really cool to me and we went to Laurier to sit into an economics lecture and I actually knew what the professor was talking about and I found that to be really really cool because it just showed that the things that Mr. Kearns were teaching us were actually applicable in the real world and when you know that as you're learning then you learn better because you know it's actually for something. So I think that's a whole nother part of the course that's really amazing is being able to go on these trips and um, make so many memories from such, such great events. I think a lot of people have speculations knowing that the Global Leadership Program is the same class with the same people all day. And I think there's nothing to worry about. Um, it was very fun. We had a great class. Um, so being the first class to do this, we were all interested in how it was going to be being with the same people every day. Overall, it was definitely a positive to the program as we were able to develop much deeper connections with people who are interested in the same things as us than we would have been able to in the traditional high school setting. I can say personally that I've met some of my closest friends in this program and I hope that it stays that way. I was definitely skeptical about what it would be like being with the same people all day, every day for an entire semester, but it turned out to be even better than I could have ever imagined. We formed such close friendships in such a short period of time, and we even formed a second family. We made so many memories together, all of which I know we will all cherish forever. And honestly speaking, I made closer friendships in the time of one semester than I had in my whole life prior to this. Being in the same class as everyone was really great because all of us became closer because we had to form relationships with each other. And it was almost like the social hierarchy of high school was completely removed. So everyone was just having fun together and it was really great. I think once you start the program, it, it's so different from any other learning style that it's, it doesn't have, being in the same class all day doesn't take away from anything. It honestly helps. Cause Yes, 
I was successful in the course. Academically, I'd say that I was definitely successful in this program. Being that I was going to be in grade 11, entering into a program meant for grade 12s, being successful was one of my major concerns. I didn't know if I'd be able to handle it. However, I was very successful in this program. Was I successful? Yes, I was successful, but that's because I put in the work and I did my homework and those are basically the keys to being successful in a course like this. The reason I was, was because I put in 110%. When class was going on, I would make sure to ask questions so everything made sense to me. And even out of class, I would email Mr. Kearns if I had any questions. We were learning new things and new trains of thought. So it was important to put in that much of myself. My grades were about on par with my averages outside of it, and there were a lot of students that actually did better than they usually do. It's definitely a program where you get out what you put into it, and I think that everybody who actively participated would say that they were successful. This was only due to the fact that I had excellent time and organizational skills, dedication, initiative, and priorities. It comes down to mind over matter. If you believe you can do well in something, and you put the effort in to do well, your results will reflect that. But for me, I think the most important way in which I was successful was how I was able to learn and pick up new skills such as better time management and better work habits that are really going to help me in my future and be important in university. At the time that I took this course, I wanted to go into the medical field. Now I'm thinking of being either an actuary or an urban planner. I learned a lot about urban issues and urban related things and world issues in global and that resurfaced some feelings that I felt in grade 9 when we had some projects in geography about um, other urban things too. Yeah, I think at this point, um, I'm a very business-driven guy, so I, I think I'm going to take uh, my BBA at a university. I think, um, I know Laurier, Western, um, UFT are all schools that are on my list. Personally, I've always been someone who's had a lot of success in science and math courses. And so for me, going into my grade 12 year, I'm looking at programs where I can combine a STEM degree with a business degree. So currently, two of the top programs on my list are the double degree offered by Laurier and Waterloo, where you can get a computer science degree from Waterloo and a business degree from Laurier. Another program that I'm looking at is engineering at U of T, where I would hope to take advantage of the opportunity to pursue an accelerated MBA program. Honestly speaking, before taking part in this program, I was dead set on going to university to study business and get an accounting or a finance job afterwards. However, after taking part in this program, it's definitely expanded my horizons. I'm currently unsure as to whether I want to stick to my plan of studying business in university, or maybe go to university and study political science or public policy and go into government. However, regardless of which pathway I choose to pursue, I feel that global leadership has set me up well to succeed in either of my choices. I think one important trait that I developed is the ability to see other people's perspective and not necessarily agree with it, but be able to understand the reasoning behind it and learn from those insights. After taking part in this program, it completely opened my eyes things going on in the world around me that I wasn't aware of before. One of the life lessons I learned was how to find a proper balance in my life. At the beginning of the semester, I thought that my time management was really good, but soon in the course I learned that it's not sustainable to procrastinate or spend too long on projects, as something I did, a lot. By the end of the semester, I was able to work faster and more efficiently while still maintaining my grades. 
The life lessons, the content, and the leadership skills I've developed throughout this program can be applied to my life in more ways than one and can be applied to various fields of study. Global Leadership will continue to work with supporting organizations, including the Centre for International Governance Innovation, the Balsillie School of International Affairs, Wilfrid Laurier University and the University of Waterloo, and the International Civil Aviation Organization. And we will continue to seek out support from university professors and educators. The Global Leadership Program will be working with Western University's Huron College Leadership with Heart Program. Our students will work with professors and professionals at Western University in London, Ontario on a group project related to social change and leadership. This is the perfect connection for students focused on social justice, social welfare, and challenging change in society. Global Leadership will also be working with the Business and Education Partnership of Waterloo Region. We will be bringing in guest speakers who are real-world experts, including lawyers, social workers, members of parliament and provincial parliament, city councillors and local business leaders. These experts will work with you on in-class activities, answer questions, and support you in getting ready for the world you will lead. Our planned large-scale trip for 2022 will be to New York City. This trip will include visits to Wall Street, Broadway, Central Park, a Yankees game, Ellis Island, the 9-11 Memorial, One World Trade Center, and a tour of the United Nations World Headquarters. This trip is of course conditional on many things, including the end of the pandemic, permission from parents, guardians, and the school board, as well as allowance for travel by all relevant governments and related agencies. Cost support may be available for those who need it. Finally, we are proud to announce the Global Leadership Program Scholarship Award. In each class, four $500 scholarships will be awarded, two for deserving grade 12 students and two for deserving grade 11 students. Awards will be received upon graduation from high school. This is a huge opportunity for you to bring down the cost of tuition in your first year of university. So what is your future? Who's going to set the direction of your life? Are you going to choose to make your own path? Are you going to rise up? Well, a better leadership and initiative, and that's something that I'm going to take with me going into the future. The world might be on pause, but you don't have to be. The the amount you learn is just so, so amazing and you just, I think it's stuff everyone should know and just to be successful in life no matter what you're in. This world keeps moving and expanding and developing. So there's lots to think about over the next year, but having visited your program, having seen the quality and caliber of students, I know you're all gonna do very well. Best of luck. And all of us have a role to play in what happens next. Students should take this program because it's truly life-changing. It completely changed my perspective on the world. Did you ever wonder if what happens next could be up to you? And I think that's one of the other things that this program does such a great job of doing is giving students uh, a sense of big problems and how they can play a role in the ultimate solution. So what direction are you going to go? Are you going to lead the way? Will you be ready to make your mark? Because your plan starts now. So seize the moment and join our team. Can you feel it? 
It's the world calling for you to step up. This is your time, so answer that call. I learned about the world, the good, the bad, and the great. I learned how to form my own opinions and I became more educated about things. I learned how to empathize better and how to be a leader of change. I would not have traded this experience for the world and I would do it all over again if I could.